Hello. Good day. Welcome to Multinet Design. In the continuation of complete tutorial in Revit. So we are embarking on duplex design. In this part of design, we want to do we want to create a steer case at the same time repackage some of these and align them arrange so subscribe to our channel for complete to complete this project so we we'll continue to bring the video on a daily basis to you so we we'll start by creating steer case around this uh, steer or and we we'll start from the ground floor where We'll be able to monitor the progress and the process. So the first thing to do now is to click on architecture, go to steer. So if you want to use the predefined one, you can use this one. But here, this is how to create a new one. So create by sketch by click on this particular drawing. So you start creating your staircase one after the other. To create a circuit successfully, the first thing you need to have is to have a boundary and that will show the area where you your staircase is being placed. So you click on this, draw a boundary around this side. Anytime you join circuits, that green aspect is what we call the boundary. We we'll change the position of this door because it will affect our if we continue this manner. So what we do is that as we've done that, we we'll determine the width of the of the steer by using uh, offset to give you. Let's say okay, I want the width to be one thousand two hundred. That is like four feet wide. Okay. okay. So you trim it round. So you start your riser immediately. This riser will indicate step. It always indicates steps. In a, a staircase in a rabbit, so to do that, so you want the pattern of which you want your so you have to have done this. So, the next thing to do is to create multiple riser by using a set. So, the riser will put the hundred. Of this minimum one, two, three, four, five. So you do the same thing here too. One, two, three, four, five. So you do the same thing here one, two. So you look at the number of prices that say it remain. You have created 16, you say remain zero. It means okay, one way or the other, the prices are balanced. So you move here from like this, you move this particular to the point where that we have to join together. So here you trim the extraction aspect of it so that we rely on a single. So adjust this aspect too, clicking to set. To move this Good. the riser is saying that it remains two for it to complete, so you can extend it in the front in the front. So click on it and bring it so you have created the two to remain now, remains zero. So Like normal sketch drawing, you must like, allow your boundary line to touch uh, the riser line. 
but there won't be any frustration in what you are part you are creating so as you have done this one now so you click on steer parts the parts in which you want your steer to follow so you click like this So it follows that line. So you can now be later toggling them to give you what you want. So if all this tear part is being created, what happened? Nearly touch. You know let it may be go back, go beyond. The boundary you set, yes, that's where the issue is. So, as you've done this one now, uh, this is your staircase. You edit, that's you. So, you click on it twice to edit on it. So, as you've done this, you click finish, and you click finish again. So the staircase is being created here. So if you go to the level one, you find the staircase there. If you cut section across, you find the staircase here. So at this point, this take this uh, door will be changed by clicking pick new host, and you direct you channel the oriented form into another part. So align it to the wall. So later when we have Giving assigning the delegating the function for these spaces, they are all going to have a functional space and arrangements that are unique. So that is how you create a plan. I mean, what is it called? Staircase in a Revit. So you click on this, you can change the type of staircase you have, like the OK Industrial Assembly Monolithic Staircase. This is my favorite. So I always use this align to it, let it change. So it starts changing like that. So you can now go to your section and create a temporary section so that you'll be able to see what you have done. So click on this and go to say click on view. Click on view, click on section. So after you've done that, you can create a temporary section and go to right click to so go to view. So this is what you have done. So this is the type of staircase. If you change it here now, like normal, you're going to have different view entirely. If you change it here to anything, any type of industrial assembly standard. Some may not be, some may not even show. But here, the one I like most is a monolithic staircase because of the complex in nature. So go back to the floor plan and there adjust this so that it will accommodate all what you all the staircase pattern to so go to the field. So you see. So this is how you place staircase in your Revit. And that is the beauty of Revit. It allow you to have every few in as much as much you model or so you model. So you get to the details of what you have done. So creating staircase for Revit is what we are going to tell in this page. So kindly like, comment, and share most of our pages, especially with